Welcome back to this series. On today's tutorial, we're going to talk about regenerative braking. So on the surface, what is it? Regenerative braking is where you basically, rather than taking your foot off of the brake as you're used to, you just simply take your foot off the accelerator and the car uses the motors to slow the car down. So there's a lot of reasons why people use this and why they like it. One is it saves your brakes. The less you have to use your brakes, obviously, the you know, less you have to replace them. Also, the car takes the energy from those motors and it goes right back into your battery. Now, don't expect to see percentage increases in your battery, but what it does do is slow down how much it gets eaten up. I've heard stories of somebody on a really long hill actually seeing an increase in their percentage one time, but don't expect to see that normally. Now, there is a learning curve for this. It takes about one drive to get used to it, maybe two. But if you're wondering about what point you take your foot off the accelerator to match what you used to do when you took your foot and put it on the brake, I found for me when I have it in the standard mode, so the basically the most aggressive regenerative braking that you can have, it's almost the exact same as when you put your foot on the brake at a stop sign. You're still going to have to use your brake though, I mean it's not going to replace things like somebody cutting in front of you or almost missing a turn so you have to hit your brake real hard. It just replaces that gradual slowdown you would normally just start, you know, slowly putting your foot on the brake to stop for a light or another car, uh, you know, that stop at a light stop sign, just your normal kind of casual braking. You'll feel this a lot when you're going down the freeway and you want to just kind of drop 10 miles per hour or 5 miles per hour by taking your foot off that accelerator just a little bit, you find that the car does a fast deceleration. So now let's go over the settings. So if you pull up your settings panel and you go into the driving panel here, you've got acceleration, steering mode, and then regenerative braking. Low means that it's going to have a lot less regenerative braking than standard. Standard is just kind of what you would do like we're talking about now, where you would uh, simply replace using the brake at a stop sign stop light. So the question is, how much regenerative braking do you want to have when you take your foot off that accelerator? I recommend going out and attempting to use both. You're going to find yourself over here because this just isn't enough. Uh, but it might be a good transitional mode while you're learning to get used to regenerative braking. Nothing wrong with using it. It's your car. You should know what each of these options do. Go out and drive with both of them and get used to it. So stopping mode is kind of tied into regenerative braking and that just basically tells the car what to do when regenerative braking has done its job and you're about to come to a stop. Do you want the car to creep forward, to roll, or to actually come to complete stop? And where normal regenerative braking will basically get to five miles per hour on these and then just kind of coast a little bit or roll, this will actually take the regenerative braking all the way down to zero miles per hour and then lock your car just like you kind of put on the parking brake. It won't be the parking brake, but it'll go into hold mode right there. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how this works. So let's get out there and we'll test some of this out. So right now what I'll do is I'll put it in low and we'll go find ourselves a stop sign. Then we'll go loop around again and we'll try it again in standard so you get an idea of just what those differences are. So right now as I'm coming to this stop right here, you can see I'm coasting kind of right through that stop where I'm used to that have been stopping a lot sooner uh, because of standard mode. But this is on low mode where you feel the car kind of creeping forward. So we're going to take off here and get up to this stop line here. and. Once we get up to the stoplight here, about right here is where I would normally start uh, putting my foot on the brake or taking my foot off the accelerator to come to complete stop at the stop sign. And uh, you can see right here, so it's coasting, it's coasting, there's no way it's going to stop. So I'm going to have to use the brake there uh, to get through that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go straight through this and uh, we'll come at this again. So now if I wanted to take a left turn here, again, I take a foot off the accelerator. I'm not using any brake right now. You see no brake lights here. It's very, very unaggressive compared to standard mode. So we're gonna loop back here. We'll do one more stop at the stop sign here. You can see um, I'm probably a good, I don't know, 100 feet right now, going 23 miles an hour. Right now, I take my foot off the accelerator and it's, you know, it does a job just fine. It's just not very aggressive. Like it's still gonna stop me uh, just fine right there. But let me show you. So you've seen how that decelerates. Let's go now and uh, let's change it and put it into standard mode. So come back into driving. You could do this while you're driving, go to standard. And now watch the speed. When I let go of it, it's gonna grip it a lot fast. You can see that I've come to a stop a lot quicker here. And where you really feel it is when you get down to those slower speeds, that's when you really feel that a lot greater, uh, uh, you know the word, can't think of the word. Where you really notice it in standard mode is like when you're riding me on a car like this, like watch, I take my foot off the accelerator, you see, look at how fast the car drops. See, it goes really quick there. Whereas we put it back into standard mode, or low, I guess you'd say, I take my foot off the brake, and it's, again, it's just very gradual. It's, 
it's almost like your normal car, a normal car would do when you took your foot off the accelerator, just a little bit more than that. And it's not as visual, it's more something you feel, which is why I recommend you go out and actually put your car in both the modes and really see what you like. They both definitely work, they both stop your car, it's just how fast you want it to be stopped and how aggressive do you want it to be stopped. So we're gonna go back and do the exact same loop again, but this time we're gonna do it on standard and so you can hopefully see a little bit of a difference. So before I do put it back on standard though, one more light right here coming up, again, 20 feet from the car in front of me, not a chance, I'm slowing down in time, have to use the brake. Standard would have definitely stopped me uh, in that time frame. Like right there, these guys all hit the brakes to turn. I just took my foot off the accelerator and I slowed down really hard. All just the braking. I mean, all just the motors doing that, nothing on my own. So the regenerative braking, it works really well. There's a few other points though too. You know, people say, well, what about the brakes getting kind of corroded and that kind of thing? Um, apparently, and I don't know this for sure, but everyone keeps telling me this, that the Tesla designed where it automatically does use the brakes randomly to keep your brakes clean. So I don't think that's an actual issue with Tesla, or at least not with the Model 3. So same thing here, we're gonna get, you know, start, this is where I started slowing down right now, but look how close we can get here. We're like, like already, like I gotta actually accelerate right now. Like even still, like right now, foot's all the way up. I actually got to accelerate more now. Like three different times I had to accelerate up to the stop line on the standard mode. So it's, it's a quite a bit different uh, than the low mode here. Going through the parking lot, I'm three car, uh, two car stalls right now. Let off the accelerator. See, I still got to accelerate. So it, it, before we kind of rolled through this one. So, you know, it's 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 very, very personal. You got to really figure out what it is, but the regenerative braking is a great system to use. They've been in electric cars for a long, for a long time. It's not new to Tesla or anything. Uh, it's just that you get some nice controls inside of Tesla on how to use them. Um, so I recommend definitely, you know, filling it out and see what your style is. But that's just a quick video to show you guys what regenerative braking is, where the settings are in your car. I hope you guys have fun. We'll see you on the next video.